Hi, this is a video for all those folks out there that have a classic um, LX200 or are interested in getting one or finding one. Um, I got found mine. I um, got it through uh, Craigslist and um, I paid for everything that you see here probably about 500 bucks is kind of where I am on the whole project. It's a 10 inch telescope, um, great optics, came with a ton of accessories, um, even has a solar filter, the 10 inch filter that goes over the corrector plate. Um, everything works on it, um, cleaned it up, greased it up, uh, very pleased with it overall. Um, frankly, it's just amazing compared to my old, uh, my old five inch Newtonian telescope, which is pretty nice. It's a, it's a Celestron uh, 130 SLT, um, but those guys have a lot of shaking and vibration. Uh, this thing is, I think it's about 50 pounds by itself. So it's pretty stable and steady, easy to use. Um, so the software that I'm running, uh, the the um, the carte du ciel, uh, which is sky, sky chart in English, I believe, and um, the software is pretty interesting in that it's a full astronomy library, and it's able to operate telescopes. Uh, there's a lot of details that I won't get into here, where you have to set up all the drivers. Maybe I'll do a video on that later. Um, the RS two three two cable I got off of Amazon, uh, so it's a USB to RS two three two. Took some finagling to get that set up with this uh, uh, WinBook. Windows 10 uh, tablet that I'm running. I've had this thing for about 10 years, but it's still a great little tablet. It works very well. Um, even the battery is still in pretty decent shape. And the um, and so you see that it's plugged into the RS-232 port on the telescope, and then we have the U USB set to COM2 here. Um, and so uh, I previously, whoops, wake up. I previously had uh, centered this, um, centered the, or aligned a telescope using the Mead handset to the Feta or, um, or Beta SETI uh, through, the, through the handset and that worked pretty nicely. Um, so I'm actually inside of my garage uh, making this video during the day. I'm mainly just the first testing the functionality of it and hopefully I'll have some videos later that kind of show um, its use at night. And so there you see that it, uh, what I originally had centered it on. I actually had moved it to, um, to look at Neptune, so, but I'm gonna actually move it back so if you watch so now it's actually going back to the object and you can see the software. Boom, there it is, pretty cool. So you saw that it was able to control the telescope pretty nicely. So I'll take a look for Neptune again. So you just do search. So enter, oop, enter Neptune. Enter. So it found Neptune over here. And so I'll go ahead and I'll hit the activate telescope button. Now you see it moving to go find Neptune. And it works pretty well. Um, I'm pretty pl pleased with it overall. Uh, so that's my first uh, run and test. Hopefully it's going to be a clear night tonight. I'll be able to, uh, to use it to, uh, to take a look at some good observations. Uh, previously I did some uh, lunar observations by just setting up the uh, through the handset. Unfortunately, since it has the older um, firmware, which is the, whatever the 2.2 to 2.5 firmware, because uh, it has the original uh, 1992 motherboard in there, uh, it doesn't um, it doesn't actually have the like 903 setting for the moon and all that stuff. And that's the reason why I got interested in seeing if I can operate the telescope using the um, the, the software here. And so pretty much I found all this stuff just by, uh, really just by Googling it, searching, um, and uh, very pleased. Uh, with how everything is working. Um, pretty slick overall. Um, if you have any questions, uh, please leave comments uh, down below. Uh, thanks a lot. Have a good day.